Okay, welcome back. Again, Computer Science 40S. This is Greenfoot, Chapter 4, Section 4.13. We're now going to alternate the images. We've now reached a stage where the crab has two images available to do the animation, but we've not done the animation itself yet. This is now relatively simple. To do the animation, we need to alternate between our two images. In other words, at every step, if we are currently showing image 1, we want we now want to show image 2, and vice versa. Here's some pseudocode to express this, and here you go, folks. I've been talking about it for years. Pseudocode written in a book. So, yes, I'm not the only one that uses it. And I'd like you to write that down on the uh, worksheet there. So there's the pseudocode. If our current image is image 1, then use image 2. Otherwise, go back to image 1. Pseudocode, as used here, is a technique expressing a task in a structure that is partly like real Java code and partly plain English. It often helps in working out how to write our real code. We can now show the same in real Java code. So there it is right there. So if get image is equal to image one, set image back to image two, otherwise uh, else set image to image one. In this code segment, we notice several new elements. The method get image can be used to receive the actor's current image. The operator two equal signs can be used to compare one value with another. The result is either true or false. And the if statement has an extended form that we've not seen before. Those that uh, you took grade 11 certainly saw it in an else. This form is an else statement, a keyword after the first body of the if statement, followed by another block of statements. We investigate this new form of the if statement in the next session. So this will be fairly new to, or fairly old uh, news to many of you that have come through my grade 10, 11 classes. Uh, pitfall here, just notice this. It's a common mistake to get the assignment operator equal and the operator check equality double equals mixed up. If you want to check whether two values are equal, you must write two equal symbols. So that's like when you use it in an if, it has to be a double equal. When you're assigning something, it's a single one. So it's a slightly different operator, which is why it's given its own sort of symbol here. So that'll take a little bit of getting used to. Okay, section 4.14, the if statement, if else statement. Before moving on, let's investigate the if statement again in some more detail. As we've just seen, an if statement can be written in the form if, some condition, statements, else, other statements. This if statement contains two blocks, pairs of curly brackets surrounding a list of statements, the if clause and the else clause. When this if statement is executed, first the condition is evaluated. If the condition is true, the if clause is executed, and then execution continues below the else clause. If the condition is false, the if clause is not executed, and instead we execute the else clause. Thus, one of the two statement blocks is always executed, but never both. The else part with the second block is optional, leaving it off leads to the shorter version of the if statement we've seen earlier. We've now seen everything we need to finalize this task. It's time to get our hands on the keyboard again to try it out. So, I'd like you to go through exercises 4.22 up to 4.24. It says to add the image switching code as shown in code 4.5 to the ACT method of your own CRAB class. Try it out. If you get an error, you'll have to try to fix it. Also try clicking the ACT button instead of the run and it allows you to observe it a little more closely. And so exercise 4.23, in chapter 3 we discussed using separate methods for subtasks rather than writing more code directly into the ACT method. You want your ACT method to be very concise. Do this with the image switching code, create a new method called switch image, move your image switching code into it, call this method from within your ACT method. And exercise 4.24, call the switch image method interactively from the crab's pop-up menu. Does it work? Okay, so this is a relatively short video. Let's just go ahead and do that. Um, I would like you to try this on your own, so I would strongly suggest you pause the video, try it out, and if you need some help, then it'll be after pausing of the video here. Okay, so hopefully you gave that a try. Let's go into our crab class here. We've got our images set up. We've got, uh, this is declare the variables. This uh, is the constructor, so that we've got them uh, assigned to our variables, image one and image two. And so under act, we're going to have, after we move, we're going to do the switch here. So we're going to add this code, and that code there is code 4.5 on page 68. So if get image is the method. Oh, and I've got a little problem there. If get image returns, remember use the double equals, image one. Notice that there's no then, we just use the braces. And again, I'm gonna get into this habit of double bracing so that I never forget to do that. Automatically indents, we're gonna set image to image two, semicolon. And the else comes after that brace. And there's another bra brace. Oh, that didn't look good, what did I do?
Okay, that should do it, I think. And again, let's use our auto layout just to sort of clean that up a little bit. This is the if block right here. Uh, looks like everything's good. Let's, no syntax errors. Let's just see if it works. So create my crab. And you'll see that he goes back and forth. If I click act, it moves slowly. Right? And you can go act here and you can even see it slower if you want. Okay, so that's good. Now, um, again, if you didn't get it written as a new method, you could pause the video here and try that. I'm going to show the answer right away. Okay, so once again, I'm going to copy this out, cut it out. I'm going to create a new one down here after this one. Comment. And I've got some kind of error happening here. Let me see if I can figure this out. And there's the comment. Now I'm going to go public. The return type is void, and it's going to be called switch image brace and brace. And I'm going to put the entire if statement that I just copied into there. Okay. And because I did that double race thing, everything looks like it lines up good. Let's run the auto layout. Indentation was already correct. So that's good. I'm not sure what is going on here with this. Oh, I know. I don't have my second star. There we go. That's better. Okay. Let's see if it works now. Now, for some reason, I've lost my auto uh, placement of the crabs have probably gone back to an earlier file where I don't have that, but you should have it automatically. And he's not moving. Let's just see what's going on here. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Uh, in my act method, I forgot to include the actual switching. So I called it uh, switch, I think, control space. Does not let me do that. Oh, there it is, switch image. Okay, just like that. See if this works now. There we go. Okay, so we switch them back and forth. So that's sort of the proper way to do it. Again, you want your, your act method to be small and concise. Uh, good use of, of names that say what it does, switch image, and the actual method itself, the subroutine, if you will, is down here that does the switching. Okay, so that's good. Uh, this will be the end of this, and then I'll move on to the last bit of this chapter in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.